Hi, and welcome to Reality Business. My name is Patrick Valtin. I am a Herbert Management coach and trainer, and I've been training over 100,000 people in the last 24 years on the subject of management, leadership, sales, marketing, personal selection, etc. What I want to share with you today is something very special. As a business owner, your most obvious challenge for your business is to ensure that nobody needs you in your business. That would be, I think, an ideal scene if you could do whatever you wanted to do in life and you had your people working for you and being dedicated to work for you. So I want to show you something that I have observed over the last few years, especially considering the recent economic crisis and economic challenges that the world has been known. You probably have heard of this concept called the product life cycle. And if you remember anything from school, the product life cycle says something like this. When a new product is being introduced on the market, it goes like this. Usually it goes like this, and then at some point, it will tip off, and depending on what you do or you don't do, the product sales volume could go up or could go down. So here you have time, and on this axle, you have volume of sales, volume of income, whatever you want to consider. So this is a typical uh, life product cycle. It grows very fast, it grows less fast, and then of course, because of being triggered by the success of the product, a lot of competitors enter into the market, and because of the competition, that product could either go down or get flat, and if you are smart, you could do something to make it go up. So what I want to show you is how this does, does this product life cycle apply, could apply to your business. That is what we are interested in today. If you really look at that graph, many businesses actually go the same way. And I have found out by personal observation as a consultant that for many businesses, there are four stages. And it does follow this trend. And I'll, let me show them to you. Stage number one, stage number two, stage number three, and stage number four. Now, I am not saying that this is your business, all right? I don't say that your business is going to go that way or has been going through that trend. But per observation, a lot of businesses do. And the reason why I want to show this to you is because with the Herbert Management System, we want to make sure that you will be able to go like this. That is the ideal scene. I hope you will agree with me on that. And it is very true that in my last 24, 25 years experience with the Herbert Management System, there is no reason why you should go down. There is all the reasons in the world why when you go very steep high here, no reason to go down. You could simply go up, up and up. So let me tell you, in order to make sure that you go up this way and not down, what do you need to understand? Well, you see stage number one is of course very interesting. I always ask, always ask the question to my clients, before you started your business, did you have enough money? Did you have enough capital to start with your business? Guess what? 99% of them say no. Then there's a second interesting question. And the question is, before you started your business, if you can recall, had you made all the marketing research that was needed? Did you know exactly who the competitors were? And did you have in mind your exact unique selling proposition? Did you know exactly what would be your competitive advantage? Guess what? 99% of them say no. And yet, you will find out that most of them, they did survive. And if you recall when you started your own business, probably what happened is you did went up. And you did not have all the marketing research, you did not have all the, the money in the bank, but what happened? You made it go right. Why did you make it go right? And most, emplo most employers, most business owners, they don't, they don't realize this. They simply forgot. The main reason that you went up with your business was you. And if you recall, that stage, I call this stage number one, I call this the fun stage. If you remember when you started your business, you were working very hard. Actually, you did not even think of going to sleep. You were so excited to make things go right. 
you were the main source of success. And the main thing that you were having your attention on, you had most of your attention on the future. And I'm sure you can recall that. So then eventually you went into stage number two. And that stage number two is very interesting. 